You know, when you look back, when I was at Boston College, um, you know, I was lucky enough to be around Matt Ryan, you know, and, and he was he was obviously real special, you know, and, and the passing game that we had there that 2007 year was special, and uh, and you can see what he's gone on and done. And then, um, you know, later on at Boston College, you know, we, we had a guy we, we stepped in with um, Chase Reddick was our quarterback, and we had a running back there at the time who really hadn't done much, Andre Williams, then he was the Doak Walker Award winner that year when I was the coordinator. And then the next year, we actually got a transfer from Coach Meyer, Tyler Murphy, who really hadn't done much, uh, but, but really had a great skill set, uh, you know, run around and could throw the ball. And then we kind of morphed that into a spread game. And with Coach Adazio and the staff there, we did a great job of kind of changing from, from that to a more of a spread game and had some great wins. You know, we had USC at home and mm -hmm. scored 38 points on them. And, and so, you know, a lot of it has to do with who you have. So I just kind of described about three different quarterbacks. Then you go to Sam Bradford, Colin Kaepernick, and now JT and the boys. So I think a good coach can adapt to based on his talent level. And with JT, perfect. just because he's been playing for so long, I mean, how, how much development can you do with a guy who's now in his fifth year? Oh, shoot. Football? I mean, I, I watch Drew Brees and, and Tom Brady and the guys who are in the NFL every year work to get better. So um, if you're one of those guys who are driven, you're always trying to get better. You always can. How